Hey, Nick Wilber with uh, Fire Apparatus Emergency Equipment. We're uh, checking out this uh, engine for Prince George County Fire Department. We're down at the shops. We're going to go over step bike today. Really something that is commonly overlooked in final inspections and when we're striking out fire trucks. But it's an NFPA requirement and the manufacturer and the purchaser should kind of get together and figure some of this stuff out and make sure that it's the, in the best spot for your members and there, you're, there's places that you can get into easily out of easily and it's obviously uh, safe for the firefighters to operate on and off of. So we're going to take some measurements here. Really the first most important measurement that we want to look at is that first step off the ground onto the fire truck. And what we're looking for here is that NFPA maximum of 24 inches. So we look here, this is at 23 inches, this is perfect. So that first step can be 24 inches and that's, that's a maximum, so it has to be underneath. Next we're going to open up the cab door here and our next step height can be maximum of 18 inches so we take this measurement and we're right at 17 inches there which is great again maximum of 18 inches there and so we're going to work our way down here and see how this kind of uh, gets applied differently depending on where you're getting in and out of the fire truck so we're going to take measurements back here in and out of the back side of the cab again looking for that 23 inches which is perfect we're going to come up to this next step height. It has to be under 18. Now we're about 14, a little bit less than 14 and a half, right? So a lot smaller of that secondary step height because we're coming into the back where there's a little bit more space to add another intermediate step in there to get back into the crew cab area here. Okay, then we're going to look back here on the side pump panel. So we have access from the ground up and to get that master stream operation or master stream nozzle up on the top. So we gotta make sure that all these steps now are less than 18 inches as required. So we start at the bottom, again, less than 24 inches, we're at 23, which is perfect. That first step height, just shy of 14 inches. And then as we work our way up, we would assume that we're gonna be around 14 inches for the rest of the steps. But again, we don't wanna assume that when we're out there doing final inspection, we wanna go through and measure. And then again, the last step up here, we have access, again, right around 14 inches, right up to the top there. Some things to consider when we're putting steps, especially near a pump panel, is where our valves are located. So we still have access to operate our valves in and out, right? We wanna make sure that we're not putting any discharges right next to where the steps would be. That's why that 18 inches is very important. If we understand that number, now we can kind of move these up and down and locate those so that we have good operation of our pump while we're operating our master stream or just generally operating on the fire ground. Stay tuned for more videos, more information, and how we can make our fire truck safer.